Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Get my sound all set here. Okay. Uh, Facebook changed a whole bunch of things. And so now when I go live, I see all sorts of new things that I never saw before. Uh, hopefully I don't screw this up. It's giving me tips and pops up pop ups that I can customize things and I am just not used to all this technology. So when you pop on, uh, please say hello and tell me where you're watching from. I'm so happy to have you joining me tonight. It is my first ever Make It Monday is what I am calling this series of live stamp classes. Um, I'm going to be going live every Monday. I was going live uh, once a month and it was just so hard for everyone to remember when I was live. And so now I'm going live Monday evenings and Wednesdays over lunchtime. And tonight's my first Monday class. So welcome to my stamping studio. I'm glad to be stamping with you tonight. I see I've got a couple people watching. Hi, Bernetta. Hi, Rhonda. Glad that you both could join me tonight. Uh, for those of you who don't know me and are new to my uh, Facebook page, my name is Rose Grunwald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I love to be creative and I am stamping with you tonight here in my stamping studio here in New Holstein, Wisconsin, out in the sticks. We're named after a cow. So that gives you an idea how rural my area is. Um, again, for those of you who are popping on, say hello, tell me where you're watching from. And if you're catching the replay of this on YouTube, um, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of these videos. For those of you watching live, I've got some fabulous prizes up for grabs. And you can get those prizes by sharing this video. So I do a prize drawing for all of my shares. So if you could share this video and comment shared when you're done, you will be entered into a drawing for, that I will um, award next week. And I have a prize tonight for those that shared my event post. So I'm super excited. I'll give away prizes every week. And um, tonight, let me look at my notes because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. <clears throat> Let's see here. So tonight I am making um, a couple cards using uh, some designer series paper in a surprising way that you might not think of. But I think first we should do our prize. I promised a prize tonight and I think we should get that out of the way. So for those of you who um, don't like spoilers, you might wanna close your eyes for one minute because I'm about to give you a spoiler at some products in the new catalog. Actually, these are new celebration products and um, I'm showing you my, my prize for this evening. So I made this card over the weekend it is a gorgeous card using some new designer series paper and uh, a beautiful hummingbird image and a beautiful sentiment um, from a new celebration set that is going live on January 4th. And I loved this card so much that I put together a card kit <clears throat> where you will get to make, how many are in here, four cards. There's four different colors and you'll get to stamp those. And listen, this is a beautiful layout, but it is simple enough for even beginner stampers. So if you have not been stamping for long, that's okay. Um, you can still partake in this and have fun stamping. You um, can either save this till you get this stamp set with Celebration, or you could use one that you have on your shelf. And the way that you were entered to win this kit was by sharing my post that I was going live. And the winner of our kit tonight is Sue Bonnet. So congratulations, Sue. I will get this in the mail to you this week. So 
I think we should get some stuff ready for stamping tonight. What do you think? Move some of my stuff out of the way. And grab some of my stuff. Tonight, um, I'm going to be using some Halloween designer series paper. And I know that sounds really, really crazy because it is December. We are thinking about Christmas and I'm enjoying my Christmas tree and all sorts of Christmas movies every night. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to use this uh, designer series paper in a surprising way. This is the Magic in This Night designer series paper. It's on sale now. Because right now we've got the giant year end closeout going on. This paper that I'm using tonight, I have used almost the entire pack for various projects. It's on sale right now for $6.50. So you're going to want to grab it. Okay. Let me get some lights on the subject here and move my water out of the way so that I don't spill. I was doing some stamping this weekend and I have um, all sorts of inks. You can see some of the new images from the catalog. Okay, tonight I'm going to use the So Sentimental Bundle. This is in the big catalog. Um, I love this one for a couple reasons. I love the font. Absolutely love the fonts and like all of these. And um, I love that there is a variety of sentiments in it. And it coordinates with these dies. Um, stitched so sweetly, these are called. And you've got these rectangles that kind of have this design and then these really cute looking labels. So tonight, I am using some colors that I haven't used in a while. We're going to be using Highland Heather. That's this beautiful purple color. Got a little scrap of it here. Um, and then Whisper White for our inside and then our designer series paper. Okay. So the first thing we have here is our card base. And this is just a standard card base. Nothing special about it. Um, dimensions for this, let me move so I can see my notes. And get at this stuff. Okay, dimensions for your card base, five and a half by eight and a half. So we're just gonna fold this in half. Oh my gosh, all sorts of comments just popped up here now. Hello, Robin. Hi, Karen. Hi, Leslie. Thanks for joining me tonight. Thank you so much for sharing. I so appreciate that. You guys, when you share my stuff, you uh, definitely help support my small business. You know, all those goody, good Facebook algorithms, it helps me to get some exposure, and I really, really appreciate that. So thank you very, very much. All right. Um, we're going to be... Um, let's see here. This will be on the inside of the card. All right, so we've got a couple pieces of designer series paper here. And the first one, so notice the back sides of these are Halloween designs. We've got cobwebs and flowers and bats, but the other side are these kind of black and white images. So this one is a black and white striped pattern. And the size of this piece is four and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then we've got this flower black and white piece. And this piece is cut to four and a quarter by four inches. So they're gonna be on top of each other just like that. And we also have another scrap here of Highland Heather. So I'm actually going to be doing some stamping and some die cutting for that right away. And we're making a get well card today. So this sentiment says sending healing hugs. 
and I'm stamping this in black memento ink. I re-inked my memento pad and it is amazing. Ah, oh, I love it. It's like so satisfying to have a freshly inked memento ink pad. All right, now to cut out the sentiment, I'm gonna use this larger label and I'm gonna use my brand new mini Stampin' Cut Emboss. So one of the things I love about being a demonstrator is that I get to order stuff before everyone else. And you can do that when you're a discount shopper too. Well, this is something that I got to order. It's super light, as you can see. Fits really easy on my desktop. Um, and it comes with these cute little dies and it's about half the price of the big stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm finding that most of our dies actually, um, fit in this little guy. So I love that these, um, arms swing open. And of course, because, uh, I'm a discount shopper, I saved. 20% when I bought this guy. So that was awesome. Now, just like our big stamp and cut uh, and emboss machine, these uh, layers have numbers on them so that you know what order you're going to make your sandwich. So I've got number one down here. And then we're going to put our paper in. And I am I'm just going to use a post-it note here to secure this <clears throat> so it doesn't slide around on me. I am centering this. There we go. Okay, and then we put our top plate on there. Isn't this thing cute? What do you think of our new little boss? I think I want to call this my little boss. Do you love it? This thing is so adorable. Okay, let me stick this through here. And then you just crank the handle. Move it out of the way. That's how easy it is, guys. There we go. And my piece is all cut. Isn't it cute? I love that label. Okay. Oops, move my plates here. <clears throat> okay. I'm also using a new product from our celebration catalog. These brand new blending brushes just came out and I was playing around with this one here. What's cool is these um, are just like a paintbrush, only really like a makeup brush kind of. Um, hi, Joanne. Hi, Deb. Welcome. Glad you could join. Um, so you can clean these out and uh, reuse them. So isn't that cool? They come three in a package. All right. I do not want this card to look like Halloween. So I am going to do some ink blending on it. So I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to get some ink on it from my ink pad. And I'm just going to bring some of that color in here. You can see how easy this is. So we're turning this Halloween piece into something colorful and bright. Who would have thought that we would be using Halloween paper on what, the week and a half before Christmas? Crazy. Speaking of week and a half before Christmas, does anyone have their Christmas shopping done? Um, it finally hit me this weekend, like, um, 
we don't have any Christmas shopping done. Um, honestly, I don't even know if we're having gatherings. Like no one's really kind of talked about if we're getting together for Christmas. I know for my one, um, for my family, we're waiting. We're going to do something in March. Hopefully by then um, the pandemic will have slowed down and, and everything. Um, but I have no idea if we have gifts to buy for the other side. Uh, nothing like procrastinating, right? Okay. So I have, I hope you can see this color. It's kind of hard to see um, the color as I'm looking on my screen. It still looks a little bit kind of black and white, but maybe if we compare it, you can see that that purple color is brought onto this designer series paper. All right. Bernetta says so she's done and everything is wrapped. Oh man, you are like way ahead of the game compared to me. I do not have anything. Well, I have a, a kitchen set bought for my niece and nephew twins. They are. Um, so I'm we got that in our back room, but it's not, um, you know, wrapped or anything. So, all right, I'm going to adhere this square to my um, stripe piece. And it does not need to be right in the middle. In fact, I kind of like it if it's not right in the middle. So now it's a little bit easier to see the purple against the black and white there. Thank you, Joanne. I so appreciate that. I think this color is beautiful. For some reason on my screen, it's not showing the really vibrant um, kind of purple hue, but that's okay. All right, now I've got some ribbon here. Um, this is our white crinkle the seam binding, it's called, and I have been using this for like everything. In fact, you can see I used it here on that card for the card kit. Now the card kit I'm sending out doesn't have ribbon in there. Um, if you want, you could add your own, but I've been using it for so many things. So this one is very versatile. I'm gonna stock back up the next time I place an order. Okay, and I'm just gonna tie this around. And in a bow. Whoops. So I'm not having, of course, when I'm doing it on a video, I don't tie my bows very nicely. There we go. Okay. And just trim the ends of that. Pretty, pretty pink. Um, oh, and I totally forgot. We're sending healing hugs and we want this to be happy. So um, I am using let me pull this out. In this stamp set, there's also these little pieces of confetti. I think they probably go for this sentiment that says this calls for confetti. But I like to brighten up a lot of these sentiments with some extra on my card. So I'm going to stamp that across the front here. And of course I got some ink. That's okay, we'll just wipe that off and stamp over it. There we go. Sending healing hugs. Okay, so now I gotta think here, here we go. 
I'm just going to put a whisk, piece of Whisper White. Oops, I got a stamp on here. So I will just do a little bit of stamping of the confetti here in my corners. And I'm doing this because when you want someone to get well, you want them to be positive and happy and in a great mood. And I just thought a little bit of confetti would help with that. Okay, now let's get this glued down. For those of you who watch me, on Wednesdays know how much I love my stamp and seal. It's so smooth, it rolls so nicely. I just love it. So we've got some subtle stamping on the inside of our card. And now I'm going to bring, let's see, this will go on the front, but I want to make sure Oh my gosh, I cut this out of the wrong size. That's funny. I wondered why it was so. Yep, I cut the wrong size. So let's actually cut the smaller die piece. I thought, wow, this thing looks huge compared to my sample card that I've got over here hiding from you. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. These dies fit really nicely right inside of each other, so no one will ever know that this happened. Well, except for you guys watching, I guess you will know. And I'm not left-handed, so I have to switch this around. <clears throat> All right, here we go. There. Much better. <laughs> now we've got room on the front of our card. I kept moving my ribbon over and I'm like, okay, something's not right here. I'm not supposed to have this big of a die. <laughs> All right, we are gonna glue this to the front of our card. And again, it doesn't need to be centered, just wherever, just lining up those edges. Isn't this beautiful already with Halloween paper? Deb says she loves the little die cut machine. I know, it's so awesome. It's like the cutest darn thing. I love it. All right, pop this sentiment up on dimensionals. And our card's just about done. There we go. What do you think? Not bad for Halloween paper, right? And listen, you guys, this paper is only $6.50 right now. Why did you put the paper on the end of the die? Oh, that just was, I was in a hurry, and that's where I put it. Um, I'll be die cutting again, and you can see, um, oh, why did I put the paper? Oh, my, this is my post-it note to hold it in place. I, I wanted um, to make sure it didn't move around. So that's what I did that for. Good question, Deb. Thank you for asking. Um, so there's our first card. What do you think? Doesn't look very Halloween-ish to me. I think this looks like a pretty um, fabulous card. And you know what? We could bring it up. Let's bring it up. 
let's really emphasize that white and bring in some of our pearls. So I like to keep my um, embellishments in a stamp case like this. So here's a little tip for those of you wondering about your the best way to store your embellishments. There we go. I'm going to just pop it in there. And then when I want to go somewhere, I just grab them. So we bling it up a little bit. There. And here's one that I made in uh, Rococo Rose. I love this color. Oh my gosh. I've been using it a ton lately because I have so much of it. I thought I better start using this. Um, and I think these turned out really, really great. So there's our first card using our Halloween designer series paper. And we've got one more coming up. So let's grab this. All right. Again, using the Halloween designer series paper. Now either side of this could be used for a card that's not Halloween centered. Um, I love this one. This is in Pretty Peacock. And then we've got some more of these black and white um, flowers. So, all right, this card I am using Mint Macaron. And our card base again is five and a half by eight and a half, and I fold it at four and a quarter. Um, let's see here. And then let me look at my measurements here. I have a piece of basic black, and this piece is five by three and three quarters. A piece of whisper white for the inside that's five and a quarter by four. And then our designer series paper here is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. So it's one eighth of an inch smaller than our basic black layer. That black is going to be just peeking out behind it. Okay. And now you can see I have used this sponge and none. This is the my pink one that I was using. None of that ink is coming off here. Isn't that cool? It's all dried on there. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, let's see. I'm going to use my, and actually my purple too. There's nothing coming out of there. Uh, but to be honest with you, I have not tried using, um, like, I don't know what's gonna happen when this purple gets wet again. So I'm just gonna use a clean one and wash these out when I'm done. <clears throat> All right, so here we come with our blending brush again. Feels so cool. We're using Mint Macaron. I think I'm using Mint Macaron. Let me double check my color, yep. Okay, we're just bringing that color into our designer series paper here. I feel like this goes a lot faster than when I was using the sponges. Um, it's just kind of my experience. Um, it's definitely easier because of the nice handles and it blends very softly. So it'd be um, a lot easier to make sure you don't go overboard like with the sponges you have to be really careful um, not to kind of go directly on the paper at first if you were trying to bring in kind of a light color so yeah, I think that looks good <clears throat> so we've got our Mint macaron in there. 
And we're going to adhere this to our basic black layer. Oops, I just grabbed my seal plus. My bad. There we go. That'll still work. Being very careful to line this up since the layer is just just a hint of the black peeking around the outside edge like that. All right, and now we're going to bring in our dies again. Let me get these arranged. So I'm going to do some vellum and this a little tiny one. We're going to stamp, hello, baby. This is going to be a baby card. Cute. And again, this is from the So Sentimental bundle. You can save 10% when you, um, and I wanna cut these both at the same time. So I'm just gonna snip this off so that I have room on my platform. Okay, get my sandwich here. Okay. I'm going to use the larger one with some vellum. And then this smaller piece, Hello Baby. I'm going to line this up and because I've stamped already first, and I want that centered really nicely. I'm going to put it in place here with my post-it note. That post-it note just holds it down. A lot of people use um, painter's tape will work. Uh, but I like a post-it note. It's just here and Works fine for me. Whoops. I'm like a bull in a china shop here trying to get this done. So there we go. Um, Bernetta says, did you say earlier that there is a sale or clearance going on now or is that just on paper? Great question, Bernetta. There is a sale going on right now. It is the um, year-end closeout sale. So there is tons of stuff that is retiring from the holiday catalog. And a lot of that is on sale. And one of those products is the Halloween Designer Series paper, which is what I'm using tonight. There are also a lot of bundles that are on sale right now because the bundle will not be offered any longer. So some of them are carrying over, but it's discounted um, because the bundle, you won't be able to save 10% with the bundle anymore. So it's your last chance on some of those. Um, I don't have the list, but um, if you click my shop with me and I'll post it after uh, this video, you can click on, I think, Giant Year End Closeout, and you'll see everything there that is on sale. So it's not just paper, it's stamp sets and punches. Like, for example, the Moose Punch is really popular. Um, that one is on sale because it's going to be retired, so you won't be able to get it again, and they've got all of that stuff on sale. 
So not just the paper, it's just that I happen to be using the paper tonight because it's so darn cheap and I thought you guys might want some um, unique ideas for how to use that because it's a great um, investment to make since it is so cheap at only $6.50. All right, we are using uh, some ribbon because you know I can't make a card without ribbon. And this is the polka dot tool ribbon. I thought this would be super cute for a baby card. So I am just going to put this in the center. And if you want, you could use your snail, sorry, your snail, your seal plus different kinds of animals, snails and seals. You could use that to adhere this down. I'm just gonna use tape because it's easy and it's at my fingertips and that's what I'm gonna do. And I do not have this um, straight at all. So let me try it again. And of course it's ripping off part of the paper, but no one's ever going to see that. So let's try this again. There we go. Now we got it straight. <clears throat> So, yep, it's our giant year-end closeout going on. And if you see stuff that you like there um, and you have supplies to get, I would so appreciate if you use my December host code that I have going on right now, G43ZNZBB. Um, but if your order is um, under $150, you should use that code. If it's over that, you'll get some rewards from Stampin' Up!, so um, then you don't use that code and I'll still see that you placed an order and send you my thank you and everything like that. Although to be fair, if your order's over 150 bucks, you really should be doing the discount um, shopper kit because that's the best deal in the catalog. It's such a smoking deal um, that if you're going to buy that much stuff, you might as well get a discount on it, you know? All right. And then, of course, you can join my team and have so much fun doing all the swaps with me and get a discount, and we have a lot of fun. Okay, I am popping this up on Dimensionals, this Hello Baby, like so, right over the top of our vellum. And now vellum, you can see through, so um, I am going to adhere this to my card but I'm gonna put my dimensional right behind the paper here so that um, you can't see it through on the other side. And actually, I might use these on the edge just to make sure that they are small enough. There we go. Hi Kay, glad you could join us. For those of you who joined late, if you want a chance at a prize next week, just take a minute and hit that share button in the bottom corner and comment shared when you're done. That's how you get entered into my prize drawing for the fabulous, fabulous prize. You also are entered into the prize drawing for commenting. So the more you comment and chat with me, the better your chances. There we go. And now we've got our Hello Baby right to the front. And this adorable mint macaron color. Of course, we gotta have some confetti when there's a baby on the inside of the card. So let's do some stamping there. Where did I put my mint macaron? Here we go. I keep this stamp, I didn't mount it very good and I keep getting ink rings around the outside. I hate it when that shows up on my stamp. So I keep checking and wiping off with my finger. Does anyone else do that? Then I end up with like super inky fingers when I'm done stamping. 
Oh, gosh. You know you're a stamper when you've got ink all over your fingers, right? Did you really even do anything in your craft room if you don't have ink? Robin says that you lost me and my live is flashing. So I think I'm still live. Hopefully you all are able to hear what I'm saying and see my projects. I'm so sorry for that. All right. Okay, we're gonna glue this down on the inside. Like so. Cute, some confetti on the inside and here's the outside of our card. Get some of this cleaned up. Here we go, our baby card. What do you think? Do you love it? Who would have thought we'd be making a baby card with this Halloween designer series paper? And again, this stuff is called Magic in This Night. It's on sale right now for our giant year-end closeout. And if you want to snag it, make sure you take a look at what else is on sale while you're in there. And here's an adorable one that I made using uh, Petal Pink. And I've got some rhinestones, the champagne rhinestones in there so that we have a little bling. Aren't these adorable? Super happy with how they turned out. And then of course we've got our get well cards and a couple pretty colors, all with Halloween colors. So there we have it. Those are our projects for tonight. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. I am super excited to stamp with you. I love bringing you prizes and your support really helps me do all of that stuff. So if you have some supplies to buy, just go to my blog, countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. In the top, there's a link that says shop my online store. You can get access to any supplies that you need there from Stampin' Up. And again, my host code, if your order is $150, I so appreciate if you use that host code. If it's over, talk to me because you really should be getting a discount chopper kit and I wanna help you get that 20% off. So, all right guys, I am gonna wrap up for the evening. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'll be stamping again Wednesday over lunchtime for my lunchtime live. And I will be back here next week at seven o'clock uh, Monday night. So I hope to see you then. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have a great rest of your night. See you later guys. Bye.